So today on MTD CNC, I'm joined by Dominic Seminario from Matsura UK. Uh, Dominic, welcome to to uh, to the show today. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Considering Paul, you know, six weeks now, nearly that I've been. Uh stuck inside so to speak but yeah we're okay we're all doing well thank you, you you're getting out for your hours walk every day that's what we do yeah i um i start early to a full day and then at five o'clock i do down tools and i go for a walk so yeah God, that's, a, that's a short day done five o'clock in the afternoon you should try one of mine um so <laughs> so tell us a little bit about matsura at the moment obviously open for business um and been supporting industry really well with uh, some of these medical applications it's obviously tough times we're, we're all going through it together but tell us about your experiences yeah well obviously when it all happened i mean it's, it's devastating and it's a shock obviously to those that are really affected by the uh, by the coronavirus but um, obviously, once we, we couldn't sort of get out, you know, and the essential travel only, we, we took the decision to um, to work from home. Um, a lot of us are working from home. But what we have what we found is that the industry is still busy. Um, it was busy, obviously, delivering order, but before the, um, the ventilator requirement came about. And a lot of our customers came on to us to support them seven days a week um, for this period. And, and, and yeah, we're, we're up and running. And to, to, to a degree, really, we're running as normal, but with about 65, 70% of the uh, of the workforce. I mean, your machines uh, do fit perfectly into uh, an environment where they would be machine in production. I mean, some of the volumes of these parts that we've been we've been told about, and in fact, of um, you know, the MTD network has actually uh, been involved in the procurement chain of some of them. The volumes are, are, are huge. Uh, the parts that are needed are e extremely precise components. So uh, it's not surprising that Matsura would fit sort of perfectly into that area, isn't it? Or is it? Yeah, it's, it's, you say the multi pallet and the multi tool function has allowed many, many of our customers to run these parts obviously unmanned and they have been producing, you know, thousands of components and a lot of customers that wouldn't normally be, make, be making these components have been making these components. And, coming on to us for assistance and help support and if required obviously engineers to visit to fix machines when they break down and a lot of the companies when we look uh, on on you know various platforms and social media that are actually machining parts uh, at the moment for the critical industry that is obviously the, the medical supplies at the moment are doing it with pallet machines are doing it with automation in mind and um, that's not just as a result of this is it i mean you've seen these trends unfolding in recent years hence the development of your of your multi-pallet technology which you were so heavily involved in yeah absolutely i mean obviously you know most people are looking to to reduce manning where they can or redeploy manning and hence you know the unmanned the multi-tool machine gives them that capability so it also gives them the ability to grow um in turnover which obviously ultimately produces more profitability um, but it means that they don't have to have more and more people to get more output out. And that's key. And I think that's what's enabled a lot of the companies today to switch on very quickly, rapidly, and get these machines up and running that wouldn't normally be making medical components. I mean, you know, a lot of the Formula One industry have, have, have really done well with with supporting the um, the government's campaign. So, you know, and we're, we're a big part of the Formula One industry, as you know. And, and, and what about things like delivering spares and even machines at this time? Have, are the logistics difficult? Have you found any problems there? No, well, what we did, obviously, we had to put in a lot of measures for social distancing and how we operate. So so the office is open with, obviously, minimal staff to make sure that you know it's safe for our staff to work. Um, our engineers are out and they have all the you know corrective PPE where required and you know, hand cleansers and everything else so that they can go out to industry and work in a safe manner. We, we've adopted many, you know, safe me working measures, notifying our customers what we're, you know, what we're going to do, how we're going to do it well before we get there. And the biggest thing that we did very quickly in this situation was that we, um, we've made a lot of training videos and, um, you know, you can install a machine and commission it quite easily, but it's very hard to do hands-on training. So, so what we did in the early days of, of the lockdown, we made um, a number of training videos, which we're actually using on the on the new installations that we've been doing to train our train our customers, and that's gone down really really well. They understand, and but we've done you know very comprehensive training videos to do that. 
and I bet you're looking forward to getting back to Colville, aren't you? And getting back in, in amongst it in the showroom because, um, you know, it was only, uh, I think it was last year that you renovated um, your, your display area, should we say, to accommodate more machines, a uh, lot more demos uh, and a lot more customers visiting as a result. Absolutely. You know, and it's a crying shame, obviously, that we can't have that at the moment. But the thing is, is that, you know, we have to think of our safety. But but from a point of view of, if, you know, we have got machines available. Those that know us are buying machine tools from us. Um, and, I, you know, and when, and when it's safe to do so, you know, we can we can have the big open houses and, and the big get togethers, as, as you well know, Paul. So, you know, I think we just need to make sure that we as a business and we as a country, do the right thing for the people that are suffering at the moment, you know. But we're here, we're open, and we're supporting all our customers. You know, all our customers are still open for business. We've, we've done quite a sweep of our customer base, and, you know, it's quite surprising how many are still open and, and actually operating, you know, in a fashion or, or actually very busy. And, and, and this is what we've seen, and I know to support that, as we've spoken about before this conversation, uh, you do still have machines there in Colville if people are interested uh, in actually procuring something at this stage to help with the with the production of any critical parts or in fact any parts that's right and, and what we've done you know as I said to you Roger and I've taken a view on that and anybody that is coming to us at the moment looking to procure equipment we are you know doing the best prices we can uh, we have got stock we can deliver within a, a three to four week window um, you know we've got people working at Colville putting machines together to the specifications required and and if somebody wants to talk to us and engage in some kind of deal, be it price, be it terms, you know, you know, we're open. And and I think it's about helping each other to help the greater cause. And um, if that means we can sell some machines along the way, then then obviously that's great in these times. Good stuff. Whenever I see you, Dom, you're always rushing around, dashing around. I always say to you, uh, you know, you, you keep fit and you say you wish you had more time to go for a run. Well, you've got that time now, haven't you? Uh, the sun's shining. You can you can get out there and uh, yeah, do some miles. Is that on your agenda? I would love to, mate. But um, I did have a little bit of a skiing accident in January, so I've got to be very. I'm, I'm I'm resting my knee up at the moment. So, but I'm walking. I'm going for long walks. Good stuff. That's what. Well, fantastic uh, to hear from you. Take care of yourself, Dom. No doubt we'll catch you soon and see you yeah. soon in Colville. They have Thank it. You. Dominic Seminario, his take on current events. And of course, you can see more from Matsura by visiting their website at matsura.co.uk. 